Hey booze, welcome into the channel. Come on in here and get this message. You guys, I hope y'all are having an amazing day. All right, I hope you guys had a great weekend, all of the above, all right? So let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with the affirmations deck, okay? Um, the affirmations deck. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the lit signs from the universe deck, 777. Um, could be very significant. Also, uh, the buzz. We're gonna see what the buzz is about you or what's being said. Um, collectively revolving around you at the very end of the reading you guys i will pull a zodiac uh, card from this deck to let you know who it is i am connecting with okay um i have all 13 zodiacs in there and let's get it started okay um so progressing for success is gonna be or uh, the basis okay i was gonna say the title of your reading but i have a feeling we're gonna change that um and it's gonna be the basis so the basis for your reading viewer is progressing for success show me clearly angels and spirit guys give me an affirmation please for this viewer we'll take whatever comes out i need one and then we'll take whatever's on the bottom okay as well um jerusalem could be very significant also the ten commandments the dead sea scrolls okay um sage all right uh hebrew could be significant as well um a broken written spell of your enemy it's been broken so your enemy could have written a spell you may or may not have known about this okay they could have tried to cast some type of spell on you and basically source is like look don't worry about that okay because basically what we've done source gave us both so we'll take one and we'll put the other one at the bottom of the deck okay for your affirmation but basically sources like don't worry about that that spell that was written um or casted over you spoken over you but however it was communicated um that spell has been broken um you could be receiving some sort of puzzle pieces going forward they also told me to reference a crazy dream i'm not going to tell you the details of the dream but i will tell you that you could have been what do they call it? lucid lucid dreaming okay um your dreams something about that could be increasing pisces energy 217 on the clock um 422 could be a sign okay or a synchronicity it's an angel number that you also may want to look up if i add those together that's four four that's an eight okay that's abundance all right i feel like you're about to walk through the cycle of abundance wood chips could be significant and fragments if you felt like parts of you have been broken the broken places the chips that have been chipped away okay wood chips from your tree uh, from your home from your center from your core there's repairs coming um emotional internal repairs that are going to be shining forth they're saying okay coming through coming to light manifesting they're saying manifestation powers okay psalms 147 verse 1 could be very significant take that as it resonates now i have more for you give me just one second and then i'm going to read matter of fact before i tell you the more let's read the affirmation so the affirmations for you are of course good morning because this deck talks about your spiritual awakening okay um and so your um first one here is be uniquely you all glory be to god okay and this says i am ambitious not greedy greedy has been crossed out roses could be very significant and also the energy of uh the give me that spirit I'm hearing Dalai Lama, okay? And so there could be Dalai Lama energy. You could be under heavy medita meditation energy. Okay, they're telling me something right now. They're telling me that you are going to start to go into hermit energy and you're gonna to start to receive a lot of downloads. You're gonna get a lot of visions. You're a visionary viewer, okay? And so what's gonna happen for you going forward is that your visions are increasing. Your sight or insight is increasing as well, okay? This is all um, a part of your purpose okay i'm hearing god's masterful plan take that as it resonates so your other affirmation is i am grace and style okay you're charging all right um they're telling me to tell you about a message that i did when i spoke about what was going to occur during mercury retrograde for you okay um what's occurring in your life at this time uh because they're telling me to explain okay they want me to explain what i was saying in that reading in that reading i was telling my viewers or telling the subscribers here that um you would be going in retrograde but this time was going to be like different than any other retrograde you you've been through um in this retrograde you were going to be reclaiming okay ownership of 
property, wealth, and prosperity. They're saying abundance, okay? They're saying health again. You're reclaiming, um, they're saying renewal. Okay, so I was saying in that reading, sorry y'all, because I'm, ch I'm channeling as well at the same time. Basically, they were saying that you were taking on some energy that was awarded to, awarded to you, okay, or lying dormant. This could be like birthright energy, okay? They're saying generational wealth is what I'm hearing, okay? My nose is a joke. Um, so this energy, it's like Mercury in retrograde is going to go pick that energy up. Okay. This calls for you to rest under this rest, this R and R rest and recharge or rest and relaxation. However, 550 on the clock, you want to connect with it. Okay. It's bringing about change. Okay. These changes they're saying it's stimulating your growth. Excuse me. <gasps> Excuse me again. Okay. So this next part that I have for you, I'm going to be universal signs. And the ones that I have written down are something about red land or red sand. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Something with the left side of the mouth, the tooth possibly. Okay. Um, transformation, renewal, rebirth. Okay. There it is. I have it written as I turn the page. So this is definitely part of your reading. Okay. That you're about to experience these changes. Um, but this is because you're, you're gaining in Mercury retrograde, what's been lying dormant, and you're going to be bringing it back, okay? When we are when we come out of Mercury retrograde, which I think is going to be around like the 10th, 11th, 12th, 15th, something like that of October, okay? Um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's why I threw so many dates out there, y'all, because I really, I'm not sure which one it is. But either way, okay, as we are under this um, time uh, uh, in retrograde, we're going to be collecting ourselves. We're going to be renewing, recharging, being filled up at this time. Okay. Um, and so you viewer are going to be experiencing that energy. Okay. Um, it's like, as soon as we come out of retrograde, you're going to feel renewed strength is what I'm hearing. Okay. Renewed focus. They're saying forward movement, accelerated growth, prosperity, wealth, and health. I'm hearing that. You could desire a deep cleansing, okay, or release, or you could have recently had one. You guys, I certainly did. I got to go back home. Um, so I've been traveling a bit. Um, I also got to go to Galveston. I got to go to the beach. Uh, but in that, um, I was able to do one, something that I love. Um, well, two things that I love. One is to travel. I love to travel. Okay. I'm a Sagittarius and we're all about, you know, distances, little distant travel. All right. That's my thing. So, uh, uh, you could, you viewer could have, uh, been doing that recently, but this actually was with this eight, I'm just looking at on the clock. Okay. It's actually, um, served you well. Okay. It aided in your, uh, renewal in this transformation you're going through. Okay. Um, I was able to do some cleansing in a sense. I sat by the ocean. Okay. I got to sink my feet in the sand, in the sand. Okay. Um, really got to ground my energy out. Okay. Red light energy. Okay really really grounded really working and focusing on my root chakra cleansing that space doing a lot of releasing from that space okay um i i did a reading i think it was libra's birthday reading and i talked about um your energy being purified okay you're going through a purification process and i feel like that's what's occurring at this time for us okay um a 44 on the clock as i'm saying that all right so you are about to experience prosperity in business and you're going to be receiving a lot of support from others, okay? So here's your sign from the universe. It says white butterfly spiritual meaning. That's the trick. We're talking about all this transformation and change and the butterfly card comes out, right? Butterflies speak about transformation, uh, uh, new beginnings, rebirth, things like that. All right, so this says in many culture, white butterflies represent transformation, renewal, and rebirth. Everything I got written right there, transformation, renewal, and rebirth. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation here. It says, some believe they are a sign of good fortune and a beacon of hope for the future. Okay, so I feel like either way, there's positive perspective here, whether you have it already or you're needing to gain a positive perspective. 936, that's 99 energy, okay? Um, I feel like you're walking through this cycle of abundance because you were able to maintain a, a ooh, 945 on, that's 99 again, okay? It's like you were able able to maintain a positive mindset okay 
something definitely with someone's left side of their mouth or the tooth. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Okay, I don't know. But I had to acknowledge it because all of a sudden I'm on this reading and my tooth is hurting. I'm like, what? Are, what's going on here? What's happening over here on this side of my mouth? Not sure. So anyway, so it's just like call that out. Okay, because I feel myself even speaking differently. Okay, maybe that's something that's going to be occurring 1022 on the clock. Maybe you're going to be speaking differently, communicating differently. Well, we know your communication is going to be enhanced because we'll no longer be restricted uh, by Mercury retrograde. Grade. Mercury retrograde, it, it messes with technology, it messes with, messes with communication, it messes with um, our ability to, they're saying perceive, so take that as it resonates, okay? So we have 1044 on the clock um, on the card, and then we have 89, which breaks down to a 17, which breaks down to an 8. So we got 1044 and 8, or 1088, depending on how you want to see that. Um, but either way, there's the energy of security. There's the energy of a firm foundation. There's an energy of... of stability that's here okay along with this abundance okay so at the bottom of the deck what do we have we have good morning so you may have had a good morning this morning okay uh, but it says let's see where i was i feel like that's mercury retrograde you're gonna we're all gonna be returning back to where we were okay it's like okay let's see where i was okay here perfect and deep love no bad vibes 888 energy those those eights again so it's definitely some abundance okay I'm hearing it's a whole lot of fun going up and around. Mm -mm 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 I don't know. Take that as if you feel. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Y'all, I'm trying. We got that funk. Gotta have that funk. A lot going on with the horn energy, okay? A lot of horns going off, okay? Um, I, That symbolizes judgment. Okay, a turning point. This could be will energy as well is what I'm being told in this moment. All right. Okay, so basically it says the most known meaning of tulips because this is the card of tulips, right? So the most moan, most moan, something with a moan, take that as it resonates, okay? Um, anyway, the most known meaning of tulips is perfect and deep love as tulips are classic flower that has been loved by many for centuries. They have been attached with the meaning of love, their ideal to give to someone who you have deep, unconditional love for, whether it is your partner, children, parents, or siblings. I feel like, um, oh, the angels, I've seen that. The angels are up to something here. This is going to bring you a lot of joy. You're going to want to dance, okay? You also could be needing to dance, okay? Get your heart rate up, all right? Having your heart rate up is really good for any type of um, magic or sp uh, spell work anyone could be doing on you, okay? It rids rids this okay it makes it, it causes an inconsistency all right in your energy to where or your frequency your vibration to where it makes it hard for that stuff to stick or attach itself to you okay so that's a little side note for you uh but but what i'm seeing here is this angel is whispering into this angel, other angel's ear okay and we're talking about these flowers i feel like an unconditional love i feel like you're about to uh receive this you're about to receive your flowers okay I'm hearing anointing. I'm hearing perfect and well. I'm hearing job well done. Excuse me. I'm hearing transforming illusion. I'm hearing practice makes perfect. I'm hearing co coinciding cycles. I'm hearing mission complete. I'm hearing cycle complete. I'm hearing failure not. 14, 14 on the clock. That's five, five. Okay. Um, so let's see where I was. It's like, you're about to be returned to an unconditional, they're saying love and support team or love and support system. Take that as it resonates. So no bad vibes. Okay. I can smell the weekend 
from here. Okay, the weekend is going to be really sweet. Okay, it's going to be um, something about the senses awakening, especially with the nose. As I was coming back home, um, it's interesting they, they pulled this card as well. Source already told me it's something with the nose, something with smell or scent. Okay, um, they're telling me pheromones. I feel like you could be really, they're saying endorphins. Take it as it resonates, but I feel like you could be really releasing some really good energy, okay? Positive vibes, all right? Um, they're saying positive strength. <sighs> That's endurance, okay? Um, let me get back to the notes, and then I got to wrap this up. Okay, so you are about to, yep, experience that prosperity in your business endeavor, okay? You're going to be receiving a lot of love and support uh, from others. Now, you're also, like, um, experiencing some form of freedom. I feel like that's the rebirth. That's you breaking free. There's Viking energy in here as well, okay? And then hammer. The color red could be very significant. Wow, and electric, okay? Now, something in the media... Okay, that we're going to hear about. I feel a breaking news energy um, with this red um, and this electric and a hammer and a Viking. Something like that. Take it as it resonates. We'll, 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 we'll see a post about that later, okay, if it, if it comes through. Now, something with your frequency. So they're saying, um, I have written here, frequency, okay, is transforming and transmuting, okay? They gave me power lines. That's also something that's going to be occurring in the media, something with power lines, okay? Now, they also told me that someone is stereoty stereotyping you or they were, okay? The number 777 is very significant. Wow, you guys reading back over these notes and then what I've already said in the beginning of the reading, that's really interesting that that, that came back out. So yes, yeah, 777 Seven, seven holds a lot of weight here a lot of significance okay um that gives me a lot of divine timing energy like something's going to occur um they're saying a perfect place and a perfect opportunity take that as it resonates but that's going to occur in divine timing okay um so someone yes they could have been stereotyping you okay uh but it's like you're roosted in blood okay i feel like you are roosted you are you're roosted in blood rooted sorry rooted but i had i wrote roosted something with that take it as it resonates okay um maybe the energy of the rooster is here okay maybe you need to look up the spiritual meaning of rooster now your enemies will be memories is how spirit gave that to me you're roosted or rooted in blood and your enemies will be memories so i feel like don't worry about any of that there's hate energy here there's an energy of a boat um which gave me six of swords energy um sheep a lamb and a ram take it as it resonates um but that either way you're being moved into a more peaceful time okay there's horse spirit energy here blue as well which represents healing so there could be um you feeling very free to heal or you being a free healer um know that viewer if you're watching this you are a healer of some type okay there's hermit energy required for you so go within so that god can reveal to you the next steps that you need to take to be able to fully benefit from your healing capabilities is what i'm hearing right now okay now the note here says not breaking no codes on a soul level so i feel like if you were experiencing some type of like judgment okay um it's been deemed or it's, you've been cleared it's been clarified people stand corrected is what i'm hearing 18 21 on the clock that you you didn't break any codes on a soul level Okay, maybe somebody like tested you. Uh, there was a test, they're saying, some type of trial or initiation, all right, where it was like, okay, we need to find out, has this person broken any rules on a soul level? Well, the results are in, okay? And basically, no, you didn't, okay? So we have here, future tycoon, okay? Come and join the buzz, all right? If you haven't already, you guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel, okay? That way you guys can be notified anytime I do readings um, on this channel, okay? Uh, the numbers 824 and the number 20. So it was 824 at 20%. There's some sort of partnership, okay? Um, this is an abundant partnership. This, this partnership that's here for you, this is justice. Okay, this is justice. This is court ordered justice. Okay, um, you're a top tycoon. That's what's being said about you. I'm a top tycoon. That's why they hate me. Okay, but you're celebrating. You see the balloons here in the background? There's celebratory energy here for you. All right, your ancestors are even celebrating. Okay, I feel like there's a party in heaven. Okay, with your name on it. There's a blessing in heaven with your name on it as well. 
okay we have mary j blige okay rainy days okay now someone is deciding to make an exit or someone's exit is uh approaching or has already approached okay this could be a mutual decision all right where someone has decided hey i'm done with this all right it's just those rainy days okay um this is by mary j blige and this one right here was by future okay um the sign whose zodiac i know right now is aquarius so this could be aquarius because i think i think i think that future is an aquarius either way whenever i see future i always think of an aquarius okay um anyway take that as it resonates so these are your two buzz cards you got your two universal cards so look out for those butterflies all right look out for the number 888 look out for those tulips all right continue to remember that you are grace and style okay and that you are ambitious okay they gonna love me for my ambition that's what i'm feeling right now okay all right um it, how do you say it's, it's easy to something but it's harder to listen like it's some people lack patience some people lack motivation but I don't see you lacking any of that. I see you have full potential drive. Okay, all of that. Um, you have all the tools required. This is giving me the energy of the magician. Okay, um, and uh, you, you've gracefully um, earned this time of recharging, this time of receiving your flowers. Okay, because your flowers are coming. Okay, the charging, all right? The charging up, the refilling is coming. Okay, so um, I feel like embrace that embrace that definitely okay give god the glory okay um be sure to take that time out to honor the most high whoever the most high is for you in your life okay um honor show respect gratitude humility okay reverence <sighs> All right, viewer, that's all I have for you. So let's go ahead. We got 2141 on the clock. Let's go ahead and see who I am connecting with. And then we'll wrap up this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like there's something else I was supposed to be telling you one moment. Okay, yes, there is. There's something significant about three children, a bike, okay? Possible deaths and a pawn. Take it as it resonates, okay? Um... I feel, feel like that's something, excuse me, that's going to be coming out and breaking news. Okay, so you guys, if you haven't already, um, if you're new to the channel, you guys, uh, or you're here and you just didn't know, I post shorts every day, you guys, uh, on this channel. Um, sometimes except for on the weekends um, because I do like to take my time to recharge 